In this short demo, I'm going to show you how you can really uh, bring to life the data uh, that you have in your SAP systems today um, through using, in this case, the predictive analytics capabilities of Alteryx and the visualization uh, capabilities of Click. So, uh, as a starting point, um, I've made use of um, the Alteryx Click Starter Kit, which is available uh, on the Alteryx website, and I've downloaded that and installed it into my Alteryx Designer environment and that gives me access to some uh, sample workflows uh, which I can play around with, uh, work with and, and get a sense of how the, the, the capabilities of, the, of both systems uh, work together. In this case I've chosen the this one here, the predictive analytics market basket analysis um, workflow and I've provisioned that slightly uh, to make sense from an SAP context. So this is by and large the standard workflow with, with one, uh, one key exception. Um, in the standard sample workflow there's a, a text input file here which kickstarts the whole process. I've decided to replace that and make use of our Alteryx connector for SAP and specifically the table connector tool uh, to take data directly from an SAP system and then feed it into Alteryx and then ultimately um, the visualization of that uh, output in, in, in Click. So um, let's just talk a little bit about these two features here. Firstly, I, I have uh, uh, made use of what we call our SAP Logon tool, and this has given me uh, the ability to link to one of our uh, SAP systems. This particular system I've chosen here is uh, an SAP ECC system. And the table connector is really where the, the, I guess the grunt work uh, takes place. This, uh, this table connector gives me access or the ability to search for any table for which I as a user have authorization to access in that uh, SAP system. Um, so I'm looking for, and for this particular scenario, we need uh, sales order data. And specifically, I'm looking for a transaction number or transaction ID and the material or product uh, that, is, that is purchased as part of that particular transaction. So if I can just show you quickly within uh, an SAP environment, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm using here uh, a transaction called SE16, which for those of you who work with SAP regularly, uh, I'm sure be very familiar with. And uh, SE16 allows me to uh, get a view of the, the data within particular tables. And this particular table um, called VBAP, VBAP, is the sales order items table. And this is exactly where uh, the data that I'm interested in resides. I could, I could also have gone to maybe BW, uh, run, run a query, a report, uh, access data via an info provider, but I've chosen to go the, the table route here just because it's quicker uh, and simpler. Um, within this, excuse me, table, I'm interested in three fields really for our, for our purposes. This first field here, the VBEL field, this is the document number or transaction ID uh, field. Then we have the, the MATNR or MATNA um, field, which is our, our material or product ID, and then the ARC TX is basically giving us a description of the uh, that product. So I'm interested in accessing data from this field in this table, uh, this field, and this particular field. So if I flip back to my Outrix designer, and you can see here I've already searched for the VBAP table, and the system has returned all the, uh, the applicable tables in the SAP system that relate to that. Okay, and it's also returned for me all the various fields available in that table. So this has been read in real time. And what I can do here is I'm just going to identify uh, the different, uh, excuse me, the fields I'm interested in. So I'm interested in the sales document field. I'm interested in the material uh, number or ID. And I'm also interested in the description. Okay, so that, that marries up with the three fields I highlighted here. One, two, and three. Okay. All right. Um, I then uh, create a link into the uh, market basket analysis tool, and I've simply mapped the fields for my SAP system and my SAP table, one against the transaction key field, which this particular workflow requires. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other, I've chosen to use the description of the material here rather than the number, just because the output looks a little bit more meaningful. Um, the other. Uh, fields and settings I've left as is. Okay, so I've accepted whatever uh, that sample workflow is dictated. Um, I've then just executed the the workflow. Uh, the system's worked its magic, gone through the various steps here, and one of the things I can see is using the browse tool. Uh, excuse me here, I can see the data 
that I've selected or put that's been pulled out from my SAP ECC system. Okay, and also uh, at the end of this process, oops, there we go. The system has generated this macro for me, which if I just click down here a little bit, I can click on that and then click is launched and there I have the visualization of that data so what I'm trying to show here is the fact that we know that click today has some SAP extract capability uh, but you could be missing the trick okay with with Alteryx you have many 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 different tools um, uh, for, for blending mashing do whatever you like with your data and with our Alteryx connector for SAP bringing that data from an SAP environment be it BW or any of the business with the applications into Alteryx, uh, making use of those Alteryx tools and then exposing that data uh, uh, to, to click for visualization is very, very simple. If this is something that's of interest to you, um, the easiest way to do it, give it a try, is to come to our DVW Analytics website and request a free trial. Thanks.